another video today and I could almost do uh, shoot up videos weekly at the moment, loads of announcements. Not only one game on this video but two games uh, for the PS4. Um, we have the first press re uh, first press release of uh, Ginga Force. I think that's how you say it. And Natsuki Chronicles. Um, so I probably did a video for the original release of Ginga Force on the 360 uh, around about 2013, something like that. Um, really happy to see that it's getting a, P a PS4 retail release. It's been out um, on um, digital release for quite a while now, this one. Uh, I say quite a while, probably three or four months. So the fact that it's getting a, a localised retail release is very welcome. And I didn't even know there was a, a, a sequel to Ginga Force. Um, Natsuki Chronicles is a kind of spiritual sequel because I believe one of the characters from this game is it's her story, apparently. Um, as you can see with this, two different versions of, the, uh, of both games. There's a standard edition and there's a limited edition as well. The standard edition you get quite a lot of extras with it. You get like a little slip case. Um, it looks like you get, if you order early enough, you get a, a collectible coin as well. In the uh, limited edition you get a collectible coin. I think one of them's silver and one of them's gold. I seem to remember a uh, different covered slip case. Uh, soundtrack, uh, poster, some other kind of uh, retail extra. There's a similar layout for the um, release of Natsuki Chronicles as well, as you can see. Um, I have picked up the regular editions of these, uh, which worked out at thirty-nine euros each. Um, wasn't too bad on the postage as well. I know there's been worries about the postage um, coming out of Europe. Uh, wasn't too bad. Um, there are also these kind of. There's a super edition here that's got uh, both the limited collector's editions. Um, and you get more stuff in there. It looks like you get more coins. Um, and I think there's maybe an exclusive slipcase in that one too. And you can also buy the soundtrack on its own outright, which was tempting actually, to be honest. I may go back and get that one. Um, the big set's 149. And um, there's a deluxe soundtrack as well, by the look of it. All right, yeah, yeah, you can buy the soundtrack separately. I see. Two discs. Um... So these are in for pre-order. I don't think it's too long till they're actually uh, properly out on retail release. Um, I think it was February. Oh, right. It looks like it will be... Uh, it'll be after February at least. I don't think it looks like there's a release date on here. Um, let's have a quick look. Da, 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 da. No, no, no sign on the on a release date on that one yet. But it must be after February because the pre-order window closes on the twenty third of February. By the look of this, so um, good news. I think you'll agree. I really, really liked King of Force when it came out. Um, I quite like the fact that there are the loads and loads and loads of different weapons that you actually unlock during the game, and um, you can kind of build your own um, unique kind of fighter. So um, and, and the gameplay really well. Don't think it's as hardly regarded as as, as, Chato, as Chatos is by Cute, but um, I, it's a solid shoot 'em up, and I'm looking forward to playing the sequel. And considering the Xbox version, um, it sells for over hundred pounds, uh, around about hundred and twenty mark. And if you want to pick up the version that's got as Chatos in it as well, um, that is substantially more expensive. So um, it's it's good that this is getting released a proper zoom up on the system so thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video
了解特訓は反抗戦力の私たちはそれを超えなきゃいけないあなたには道路交通法違反並びに違法物処置の容疑がかけられています快楽なかったけど仕方ないトラップをしろ隠れているなら出てきなさい